Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. And today is March 17th, 2022, and we're at the New Riverside Circle, where Route 170 and Route 46 meet on the southwest side of Bluffton, South Carolina. And we're heading halfway around and on up the New Riverside Parkway. And today we're on our way to see a new community by Kay Havnanian, the Lakes of New Riverside. We're going to see the community and then we're going to come back down to the New Riverside Circle here and we're going to review all of the different development and conveniences which are available to you here in this part of town. And right along the parkway, by the way, is a bike trail that is what one of the first buyers that bought in this area told me about. They used to come over and park at the bottom of the parkway and ride their bikes up the bike trail into Palmetto Bluff over into the town of Wilson and still a popular bike trail but getting back to the community that we're here to see today the lakes of New Riverside has about 208 lots in their first phase uh, they've already built about 50 homes there so 150 left and you know what so many of my buyers want a new home and so many of the communities here in Bluffton are built out so I'm very happy to have a recommendation for my buyers who want a new home and who want to live here in Bluffton and it's really beautiful up the New Riverside Parkway here by the way the land is high the uh, lakes at New Riverside, the lots are all about 22 feet above sea level, which means you have optional flood insurance. They're going to have wooded lots for you. They're going to have water view lots. They're go they'll have berm view lots. And these are lots where you can fence your yard and where the uh, HOA fee is only $120 a month. We'll go over all of this in more detail after we see our model home and we'll talk a bit more as we drive through the community. This community uh, will have a recreation center with some uh, pickleball courts and a beautiful pool and a pavilion. The uh, neighborhood is located just about two and a half miles south here on the New Riverside Parkway from the New Riverside Circle and as I said we'll come back down to the circle after we see the community and we'll take a look at all of the development going on there which gives you the homeowner in this area much more convenience than you've had in the past and a reminder is that in showing you this community today I don't work for Kehavnanian I don't work for lakes at New Riverside I work for you the buyer I'm a buyer's agent with 45 years, by the way, of local Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I'm also a former licensed South Carolina home builder. And it just doesn't cost you anything, ladies and gentlemen, to have a buyer's agent on your side working for you. And that's because I'm paid at closing from the commission that is already in the price of every new build home here at the lakes or resale real estate in other locations. Here we are at the entrance to the lakes. This is where the security gated entrance will be. Overall we're talking about two phases here. The first one being about 250 acres and having about 208 building sites. The second phase that is probably going to open up or start selling towards the end of this year, 2022, has about 50 acres and probably about 76 building sites. Now all these lots come in different widths. 
there's three categories of properties. The lots are 40 feet wide, 50 feet wide, and 60 feet wide. And they are for the designated home categories of the uh, Ascend, which is the smallest group, which is sold out, by the way. They'll have more of them in the Phase 2 when it opens up. But uh, they have three models. They, they range in size from about 1437 square feet up to 1882 square feet are going to be for sale again in the low 400s when they come back up for sale. The middle category has five models. That's called the Elevate series. The size range is 1,780 up to 2,801 square feet. Three and four bedroom homes. Three of those are on one level, by the way. And we can, they're selling in the uh, mid fours to the mid fives right now. And then finally we have the largest series called the Summit Series. Three models there. They range in size from 2,479 square feet to 2,809 square feet. Two of those again are one level homes and with three and four bedrooms. Uh, and one of them has a three-car garage that we're going to see today, the Champlain, and the other one called the Porto has a one-and-a-half-car garage. So here we're moving back towards the back of Phase 1, and our, our recreation center is going to be here on the right, and I'll just tell you about it quickly. It uh, is going to have, of course, a community swimming pool with lap lakes. It's going to have a pavilion. It's going to have changing stations and restrooms, outside grilling and picnic area, and they're going to have two pickleball courts. Straight ahead here into that field, that's going to be the phase two, which uh, won't open up again until later next year. Later this year, excuse me. Waterview lots, wooded lots, and berm lots. And an example of the berm lot would be these lots along here to the left. They back up to a private road, so the developer has put a berm there. They release a few lots at a time. They price the lots as they come up. But in general, the lots are priced about fifteen to 50000 with most of them being more in that thirty-five to forty thousand dollar range. So today we're going to walk through the Champlain model. It's one of the three large summit models offered here at Lakes at New Riverside. Two of them are on one level. The Champlain is one of them. It has 2,479 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a den or home office, a full three-car garage, and it has an option to turn that fourth bedroom into a mother-in-law suite. So the construction on this house, again on slab, no steps. You have the Easy Care vinyl siding. You have the three-tab GAF shingles. That's a 25-year shingle. It's built with the Barricade Plus house wrap. You have three elevations available on this and all of the homes in here. You have R38 insulation blown into the ceilings. You have R15 insulation in the exterior walls. MI vinyl clad windows. I like the fact that the front door is recessed and out of the weather. All of the front doors are eight foot high fiberglass insulated doors. Inside the Champlain you have a foyer hallway with a line of sight that takes you straight to the back of the house and your view. Immediately to the left we have our second bathroom and we have our second bedroom. 
and our home office. The doors are optional. They come either as glass or solid doors. It's a good size room with big windows. On the right we have our laundry and standard in the bathrooms ladies and gentlemen in the laundry is a sheet vinyl in the model here they've upgraded to a tile also standard is to have a recessed area for your dryer vent and for your washer dryer hookups now washer and dryers are not included the ceilings are all nine feet high flat ceilings and in the Champlain we have a large open living area and a big kitchen with a big island upgraded cabinets I like the fact that that pantry is in the corner it's large your refrigerator does not come with the house that's something you'll get on your own as I already said about the washer and dryer not included now in this case our model has a quartz top standard is a granite top while this is a natural gas community what they have in the model here is a gas range top replacing the standard and included electric ceramic top range oven they use Moen faucets in this home. Here's a semi-professional option on your kitchen sink. Looking good. Pendants are always options. None of the hanging light fixtures that you might see in this house are included. Those are all options. Our contemporary floor plan has the single dining area at the back in this well-lighted corner. Light and bright. Your sliding glass door is also an eight foot high door and in this case in the model it gives out to a screened and covered porch which are both options. Standard of these homes is a patio but I think many people will assuming it's within their budget go ahead to have at least a covered porch and preferably a screened porch. It's wired up for a ceiling light fan fixture to be added either through the builder or on your own as is the living room and the primary bedroom well let's go over and see that primary bedroom it's large and it has an optional recessed ceiling here with some shiplap treatments inside and some crown molding both of those also options but the big trio of windows is standard it's a big room folks giving out on your view which again is either wooded water or berm they have a big walk-in closet for him and for her And you'll notice that in this model, they've run the laminate flooring right through the living area into the bedrooms. All of that floor covering would normally be, or should I say standard and included, would be carpet. They've upgraded here in the model. And it would be normally sheet vinyl in your bathrooms. On the flooring here, they've got this beautiful Carrera marble upgrade, white painted cabinets. One of the things about these homes though, they have the quartz tops with the undermount porcelain sinks are standard and included, as are those very nice wall lamps over the mirrors. The mirrors are included. We've got a large linen closet and the water closet there at the end. Standard is a shower here. The, uh, the um, a frameless enclosure is not standard that's an upgrade and a very attractive one as well a beautiful bathroom this is a great floor plan ladies and gentlemen 
great floor plan. You add that third car garage, and it's a winner. So from this living area, let's go see our third and fourth bedrooms. A good separation of living spaces here in this house. On our way, we have the furnace in a closet and sometimes called an air handler. It's your fan that sends the air through the house. It's also your heater, which is a gas heater, gas heat in this house. And again, we have the tankless Renai water heat as well. Well, here's our third bedroom. It's roughly 11 by 12 in size. And another one, just like the other one, right over here. Let's call it bedroom number four. And a reminder that none of these rooms are furnished. This house is what is called staged. And it's just intended to show you what it could look like when you furnish it. Here we're back to our Carrera style upgraded ceramic floor. They've mixed it up here with the darker color. I believe that the brushed nickel hardware is standard here. They've gone to the rubbed bronze, but your mirrors are standard. Standard and included is the fiberglass tub and shower. So let's go back to our foyer and talk about this option where this home office can become a bedroom. And of course that wall would be closed off with the entrance to, entrance to this mother-in-law suite through here. The bathroom would remain in the same location, but up here would become a living room with uh, an optional deficiency kitchen, an optional mother-in-law suite in the Champlain. All of these homes are landscaped and sodded with your irrigation systems in place. Here we see our air conditioner, our tankless hot water heater, our gas meter, all included. And the little green disc here is your Centricon termite control system. It's included in every home. Now the homes are bonded for termites for one year. After that you would subscribe to the Centricon system, which is a bait system, not a chemical system. They uh, put the bait in there when they monitor it every quarter or so. If they see that the termites have taken the bait, they substitute it with a poison and it kills the entire colony. A beautiful house on a 60 foot wide lot, 125 feet deep. I really like this house, folks. I think you will too. And leaving the lakes at New Riverside, we'll just pause for a minute to look at the walking path that I told you parallels and goes alongside of the New Riverside Parkway. Here looking south towards Palmetto Bluff, people love to bicycle up into the community and on back to Wilson. No. Okay. No, you don't. Oh, I just didn't want no. to get in your picture. No problem at all. <laughs> and obviously good for jogging. I saw a lady with a baby carriage coming down through here. People bicycle and they take golf carts along this path. Now here looking off to the north, it takes us down to the New Riverside Circle. And let's go there now and along the way I'll introduce you to some of the neighbors. At the lakes of New Riverside they have big family homes and also what I would call retirement style homes. So. I think that some of the people who move into that community will have families and be looking at the school system. And our school system here in Bluffton is very good. And to our right, gosh, it's not even uh, about, about three quarters of a mile uh, north of the lakes is the new May River High School. And here to the left is the Haven. That's a Del Webb. 55 and over community which built out just a few years ago. It's only about 500 homes. To the left is Alston Park. 
it's also built out a community, a smaller community, only about 200 homes in there, uh, mostly family homes, but these are these communities are a mix of uh, families and retirement buyers, except the Haven, of course, that's all 55 and over. And here to the right is the Landings, one of Pulte's newest communities. Again, it's not age restricted, but it's our last residential community before we get to the circle. The New Riverside Village is on the southeast corner of the New Riverside Circle. And phase one will have two restaurants, a park, it will have a gas station and a convenience center. It will have 100 townhomes, residential properties. And there's talk of the Buford County Library, a new Buford County Library being built at this location. Phase two, we're told, will have many commercial spaces, storefronts, more restaurants and also a walking trail and at the southwest corner of the New Riverside Circle is the New Riverside Park sometimes called the Barn Park. It's under development. It, this land was bought by the town of Bluffton a few years ago and it's being developed in conjunction with the county. Uh, part of this park is an old rice field and it all connects with the New River, where there will be some kayaking and canoeing blue way trails through the rice field and the river. There's going to be biking and walking trails back through here, four and a half miles of those. There's going to be a picnic shelter. And this is occupying all of this land at the southwest corner of the New Riverside Circle. On the northeast corner of the New Riverside Circle is May River Crossing, a commercial shopping center, I guess you could say, but where the developer has also given us this park. This park and pavilion are sure to be the location of many community activities. The big anchor store here at May River Crossing is clearly the Publix supermarket. It's one of three Publix markets in Bluffton. At Publix they have a lot of organic produce and a great deli. May River Crossing has a Starbucks. There's a variety of other shops and businesses here at May River Crossing. This is the building where a new dental office will be located. And I would say that the shopping area here is about half developed. So lots of room for expansion with more businesses, more services, and that just means greater convenience for you, the Bluffton homeowner. And May River Crossing has this small park with some benches where you can sit and rest and with a view out to the New Riverside Circle. Next door to the May River Crossing Center is Parker's gas station and convenience store. And next to Parker's, a Wendy's. And next to this commercial area, just a few hundred yards down the road, is the Pritchardville Elementary School, which has in past years been voted the number one elementary school in the state of South Carolina. Well that's our tour for today folks and again this is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty. 
the Gated Community Specialist, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Now just a word about buyer's agency. You have a choice whether you would like to have a buyer's agent work with you or not. All of the different builders' representatives, as nice as they are, well, they don't represent you. They represent the builder, developer. Nothing wrong with that. But you can bring me in as your agent at any time, better earlier than later, and definitely before you sign a contract with the builder. But, you know, it just doesn't cost you anything more than the cost of the house itself to have me as your buyer's agent. And that's because I'm paid at closing by the commission, which is already in the price of the house. And the builder does not raise or lower their price depending on whether you do or don't have a buyer's agent on your side. So it really makes it kind of a no-brainer to have an advisor who can help you. We oftentimes compare communities, we compare builders, we compare new homes to resale homes, we compare amenities and costs. Whatever is important to you, we're going to talk about it and look for and find just the, the best home for you. So I invite you to call or email. Let's get acquainted and work together. And here is my contact information. My cell number is 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. And my website, well, that's gogated.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you like the video, by the way, there's more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe.